1073K FFM. Kick it with Sarah J on your Thursday afternoon. And I have got a very special person in the studio. I've got Michelle, the youth program coordinator, plus many other titles as well, of YPAL. Yakima Police Activities League. We have a very important ask today of the community. Yeah, we are really hoping to see our community step up and come out and volunteer and spend some time with our kiddos. Give us a hand making a difference in their lives, which we do on a daily basis. Uh, these kids, some of them have no home life and they come to us for guidance. So we are looking for mentors, whether it be in a program or even somebody to just come and hang out as a buddy for one of our kids that are most at risk. There's many opportunities. If you've got free time and you're thinking, how can I give back to my community? Why pal? Why pal is waiting for you. They're so waiting for you. Off the top of your head, can you give them an idea of the different types of programs? Sure. See, we have boxing and we have wrestling, which is a seasonal, mm-hmm. and we just finished. But we also have cheer, which just started. Nice. We have karate. We have two different culinary classes. One is for the older kids and one is for our younger kids. Aww. We have STEM and science classes. We have art classes. We also have a library with a computer lab and tutors. Tutors. If we could get tutors out there, we would be set. Set. It's tough for kids to go through school and then not have that backup, that support. So definitely if, if you're really good at math or science or just anything, any anything that you're passionate about and you want to help inspire other people, the youth of our valley need it. They desperately need it. What have you noticed the most that you, that you want more than anything else? Well, that's a tough one. I know. Um, <laughs> between volunteers, sponsors, you know, sponsors for programs, sponsors for our youth to be able to, to attend, it's only $20 a year for our kiddos. That's nothing. And it gets us access to everything we do. So we have our summer program getting ready ready to start up the first part of July, which we kick off with a camping trip, which we take no less than 50 kids. Wow. Um, YPD has partnered with us the last two years. Beautiful. They chaperone. If you want to go camping, come out and be a chaperone. We could use you there. If you have any expertise at all in, oh, let's say culinary, we always could use people and kids in the kitchen. I love baking. Maybe I'll, we can bake some cakes together or something like that. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to do that for our spring fever event tomorrow. No way. Yep. We are going to make dirt cakes today. Oh, delicious. Like mud cakes. Um, with a little bit of better taste. Okay. <laughs> that is fair. What would be the website if people wanted more information? Well, you can find us on Facebook under Yakima Pal. Okay. Our website is www.yakima Pal. Okay. That is in the process of being revamped, so it okay. may not have an accurate list of all of our programming. But it has a basic idea of what It you does guys have offer. a basic idea. It does. And you could also just come down down to to our place on 4th Street, North 4th Street. Okay. And the address is 602 North 4th, right next to Miller Park. You can't miss it. Perfect. Or you could call. Okay. And our number is 509-575-6180. And hours of operation? We are open in the office from 10 until 7. Programming generally starts from 3 till 6. We also have Saturday classes at Get Fit, which we partnered with. Mm-hmm. Anyways, Regional so Memorial. Region- One of those. Fancy we hospital. <laughs> Get Fit, which is cross between Get Fit one weekend and Zumba the next, which ah. is free for parents and kids to come out and get healthy. This is very, very cool stuff. I don't think a lot of our community even know that this exists. So whether you are the recipient of it, meaning you got the parents that are busy, you know, they're trying to make the money to put the roof over your head and make sure that when you open the refrigerator, you got the stuff. And if you are dabbling with kids that you're not supposed to be hanging around with and your parents are getting frustrated, why pal is a great place for you guys to go and you can find some new friends, maybe. Stay out of trouble. Learn a new skill. I have lots of fun. We also, interesting enough for the parents, we've morphed more into a community family kind of center. So we have case management also for the kids that are struggling in school and parents that may need help, uh, access to resources. Mm-hmm. We got you covered. Got we you are covered. an all-around stop shop. One stop shop. I love it. So definitely, this is a huge, huge thing. $20 will sponsor one child for the entire year. So if you are listening to this and you would like to donate, I'm going to put all of our information over at kffm.com. You always can call us too, 509-972-1073, and I will relay the information. Anything else, Michelle, that you would love to let people know while I got you here? Yeah, if you ever want to see just exactly what we do with these kids, come out to any one of the parades. Our cheer squad, who cheers for the Northeast Thunder Grid Kids football, Mm -hmm. incidentally, who were champions last year. Hey! They are in all the parades, so we're starting with the SELA parade, Uh and then you'll see us in the Sunfield. 
Fair. Okay. And the Veterans Day and the Lighted Christmas Parade. Dang, we have just begun to kick mm-hmm. off the summer season. It's not even summer yet. Sure looks like it. Ah, well, thank you, Michelle. And you'll be in again, yes? Absolutely. I love it. Thanks for having us. Thank you.